I hate passwords, don't you? But websites keep asking us for them. We are starting to see a new option on some websites. For example, if I go to Yahoo and click sign in, I have the option to log in with an account I already have at Facebook or Google. If I simply click the button, I would be logged in to Yahoo if I had already set up an account because I'm already logged into Facebook and Google. But it's hard to remember which of these buttons I'm supposed to use, or whether I'm supposed to log in with a password, or need to create a new account, or have some other trouble accessing my account. So let's get the browser to handle that for us. Imagine this was your company's 401k site, and when you clicked sign in, you saw a list of accounts that your browser remembers that you frequently use on this computer. Simply click your work account, which for me is the at google.com address because I work at Google and it has my work photo. And when I click it, I'm signed in. Or imagine that this was an online gaming website you played for fun. Click sign in Again, see the list of accounts you frequently use. Now go ahead and click your personal account. For the, me, that is my Gmail address, but my identity provider for this site is Facebook. But I simply click it and I am signed in. Now that is easy to use. Let's now take the example of a third site that I use for work and that I've been using for years with the password. And so it has the traditional ugly login box when I click sign in. And so normally I would have to type my email address, type my password, you know, etc. Bummer. But with this uh, same site, we went and we added a second sign-in link there, where with just a very small amount of code, when I click it, I now get to see listed accounts I most frequently use on the computer. I click the one for my work account, and now, well, hmm, I'm still asked my, for my password, but at least the email address is already pre-filled, and it figured out that I didn't need to create a new account, I already had one at this site. And if this were a mobile device, I'd you know, be happy any time I didn't have to type my email address. But now, let's go back to that site a third time, and there's a third link where now this website is ready to get out of the password management business. And it's implemented some technologies like OpenID, which are supported by vendors who are part of the OpenID Foundation. Now, when I click that, I see exactly the same list of accounts, but if I click the picture for my work account, then boom, I'm immediately signed in to my existing account. Now that's sweet. So for me, I did the same thing. In both cases, I went to the site, clicked sign in, clicked my picture. One point I was asked for password, the other time just invisibly passwords went away. And over time, hopefully all passwords will invisibly go away. This user experience is called an account user and is a project of the OpenID Foundation. Companies like Google are already integrating an account chooser into their login flow, which is, of course, used by a huge number of users who log into Google services. The OpenID Foundation will soon be launching this service on accountchooser.com, along with simple instructions for how website owners can deploy at least an account chooser, as well as pointers to tools and open standards and open source libraries that can be used to enable the website to get out of the password business and leave it to the few websites who have much larger security teams with more complex protections against hackers. If you're a real techie and want to play with the now, head over to accountchooser.com and read more about it. Thank you.